From the friendly dragon to a map of Norwich on the side of solicitors, you might have spotted murals popping up across the city over the last few months. And now the Business Improvement District, or BID, wants your help to transform more of our so-called blank canvases. The latest spaces to get some artistic attention will be the underpass at Castle House, the back of Tesco Metro on Pottergate and the back wall of Tickety Boo. We'd seen some of these uh, projects around the world, uh, in Pittsburgh and in Europe, and they were major attractions. And let's face it, Norwich is a beautiful city, but there is the odd blank wall that's really not tre tremendous. So you know, what we're doing here is uh, providing a canvas for people to come forward with uh, designs and ideas. You don't have to paint it yourself. We get an expert team to come in and do that for you if you so wish. It's all part of the City of Stories project. This was the first mural to be unveiled last year at Pimanco on Burr Street. Soon after, Tesco Express on Wesselgate and Virgin Money in Castle Street revealed their new looks. And on the Hatch Brennett Solicitors building, The Map, which was created by Beverly Coraldine, she fought off competition from rival designers across the world to have her art on display. It's fantastic to, um, to get people associating Norwich with, um, with an artistic place to be. And um, there's so much going on in town that if um, people are finding out um, about the, um, the artistic world in Norwich <laughs> through that and coming to see it, then that's fantastic. It's all part of a project to attract more visitors to the city and encourage us to enjoy what's on our doorstep. There were already a couple of really nice murals uh, in the city, so actually we've pulled them all together and got six or seven now and created a trail. So through the Discover Norwich app, there's a trail function, so you can follow, go around the city, follow those designs, read a little bit about them and discover the, uh, the talent that we've got here locally. Artists and designers have until Sunday the 2nd of April to get their submissions in. As Norwich gets a bit of the Banksy treatment and its artistic talent leaves its mark on the city for years to come. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Norwich.